I guess we'll get started. All right, class, we're going to have a presentation today about the arc reactor. The what? Are, Are you serious? serious? It's like she's never seen an Iron Man movie. Well, you see, the arc reactor is basically a mini nuclear plant inside of my chest. But why does he need it? Mr. Stark was in a bombing accident in Afghanistan when the bomb exploded. Metal shards got into his chest, and the reactor keeps him from dying. But how is that supposed to even work? The arc reactor produces a magnetic field produced by the cold fusion to keep the debris from moving to Tony's heart. But how does cold fusion work? Well, palladium can be used for cold fusion because it doesn't require heat for the properties to work. I mean, you need a power source and you need a medium to help maintain the reaction, but that's basically it. Plus, you need a certain type of isotope of palladium in order to make the reactor work. But question, how does it save Tony? The palladium that makes a magnetic field also makes electricity that keeps the reactor on so I don't die. Or the palladium can decay, which might kill him. How do we keep that from happening? Glad you asked. Christina, could you explain, please? Well, vibranium is a really unique metal alloy and it's used a lot in Mr. Stark's universe. It can absorb sound waves, connect energy, but Mr. Stark, with his genius self, decided to synthesize it and make a new version of vibranium to power the reactor. And I, genius billionaire playboy philanthropist, have a particle accelerator which smashes elements together to make new elements like this one. Man.